Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're in my kitchen in my house and not in the guest house kitchen. It is a cold and blustery day and Barry and I are gonna go for a jog. And I was thinking, you know, when we get back, wouldn't it be great to have a hearty meal, something warm and comforting uh, to eat when we get back. So I'm gonna make a lamb stew. And I'm gonna show you how I make it. I'm gonna put it in the uh, multi-cooker and slow cook it. And so when we get back, we'll finish it all up and uh, enjoy. So hang on. Okay, so let's look at the ingredients. So of course we need lamb. I've got about a pound of lamb. Uh, we're just making this for three, so a pound is plenty. A little bit of flour and some garlic salt to season the lamb, salt and pepper, of course. Uh, a couple of carrots, rough cut, a couple of stalks of celery, rough cut, an entire onion, rough cut. You know, you don't need to dice it. And I have five cloves of garlic. This recipe is great with a lot of garlic. It doesn't end up tasting real garlicky. It, it's just enough. Um, butter, bay leaf, tomato paste, diced tomatoes, some bone broth, a little bit of red wine vinegar, and some olive oil. Now, um, I also have parsley and um, thyme, and I'm gonna use a little bit of twine to corral that in the pot because I wanna be able to fish it right out. So, let's get started, shall we? So the first thing I'm gonna do is set my multi-cooker to saute, the lid off, and I'm gonna let it get hot enough in there and uh, I'll put a little olive oil in and I put the flour and garlic salt in this bag. I'm gonna shake up the lamb. I'm gonna drop it right into the multi-cooker and saute it until it gets a little brown. Okay, so I put a little olive oil in there. You can see that. You just need a little to coat the bottom. You don't need a lot. Um, so you're not deep frying, you're just gonna saute this, the um, lamb. And you want to get it out of the bag, then a little at a time, all right? And you'll see it start to, all right, it looks pretty good. tomato paste. Trust me, tomato paste makes an amazing gravy. A little bit of red wine vinegar, not a lot. Right. Trust me on that too, it makes a difference. Entire carton of chicken stock or chicken bone broth, whichever you prefer. You can use vegetable stock if you like. I mean, if you prefer vegetable stock, that is okay too. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Now I wanna drop in my little bundle of, of uh, aromatics and a couple of bay leaves. Dry bay leaves are fine. You know, two or three of those. I'm gonna lift up my aromatics so they don't get beaten up. All right, put that in there. All right. So 
Salt and pepper is really to your taste. So if you like a lot of salt and pepper, go for it. I do prefer a like a sea salt. If you're using a standard crock pot, if you're using a standard crock pot, uh, just turn it on high for an hour, and then turn it on low for maybe another hour, two hours. So we're back, and uh, it was a wonderful run. Uh, it was really great. It's super blustery outside. Um, we've been having a really weird March, you know, uh, as soon as uh, spring hit, the weather went crazy. Uh, so today, today is uh, 35 degrees and really blustery out. Um, so the stew, I just can't wait for the stew. Anyway, so the stew is just about done. It just needs to reduce a little bit. So I'm gonna take the lid off the multi-cooker and let it reduce. And I'm gonna get to the mashed potatoes. So we're making a rosemary mashed potatoes today. Uh, which is one of my family's favorites. And uh, it's just wonderful, fragrant mashed potatoes to put this lamb stew over. Um, so let's get to that. So for the potatoes, I don't do anything unusual. About an inch and a half cube, salted water, fork tender, drain them really well. Okay, so let's get to the rosemary butter. This is really the secret to these delicious potatoes. So um, we have about two and a half pounds of potatoes. And so you'll want about four tablespoons of butter and a giant sprig of rosemary. I put this in the microwave and until the butter is melted and let that rosemary sprig sit in the butter. Uh, as long as you can, really. You know, if you're going to have the potatoes later in the day, do this in the morning and um, it'll really infuse the butter with that wonderful rosemary. My preferred method of mashing to get really silky potatoes is to use a ricer. So this is a ricer. Put the potatoes in here. And it works kind of like a garlic press, where you just press it just like that. So let me show you. So go ahead and put some potatoes in. That way you're not mash, mash, mashing and developing, you know, more starch. All right. And just watch it come out. kind of satisfying. And there you go. And that is rice and potatoes. So let's get on with the adding the aromatics. So this is, remember, our rosemary steeped butter. Pour the butter in. I'm just butter and eggs right now. All right? I'm gonna get as much of it as I can. I want all that butter. And I wish you could smell it. It just smells so good. So before you do anything else, stir the butter into the potatoes and coat them really good. And the good thing about ricing is that these potatoes are mashed. You don't really have to do anything else to them. They're nice and smooth and delightful. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to add hot dairy. So this is half and half and um, milk. And I heated it up so it's warm. That way it doesn't cool off my potatoes. I'm just gonna add a little. First it looks like it's too much. But once you get this stirred in, it um, makes it nice and creamy and sort of perfect. So now this is your opportunity to make these potatoes what you want them to be. At this point, because there is rosemary in them, um, because of the butter, you can salt and pepper, which is what I will do. You can put roasted garlic in. You can put cheese in, you can put hot sauce in, um, pretty much whatever you want to make it go with the dish that you're serving. And um, so, because it makes a wonderful base. This is the rosemary mashed potatoes make a really, really good base. And potatoes need a lot of salt. So, the very last thing that I'm gonna do for my potatoes today because I'm doing a lamb stew, which kind of makes me feel like it's a little bit Irish in Ireland. I want these potatoes to be kind of green. So I'm just gonna add some parsley. 
Right. And because I like my potatoes a little bit creamier when they're mashed, I'm just gonna put a little more of that hot milk. Okay. Look at that. That's beautiful. Look how, look how pretty that is. This is some beautiful mashed potatoes, and I will tell you what, they smell so good. Okay, so I'm not sure how well you can see with all the steam, but um, now the idea is to reduce this a little bit until it gets to the thickness that you prefer. Then you want to taste it, and you may want to add a little extra salt and pepper, maybe a little garlic salt, um, until it is your preferred seasoning level. And as soon as we're done with that, then we'll serve it with the rosemary mashed potatoes. Okay, so first things first. Get a pretty good sized dollop of potatoes for Barry, a medium sized dollop of potatoes for me. And then, oh, look at that, it's just beautiful. The color is so beautiful. Let's give him another scoop. Oh, look at that, that's just gorgeous. Now it's my turn. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. I love the orange color of the tomatoes. It's just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. And there you have it. Lamb stew over rosemary mashed potatoes. Okay, so while everyone's eating, let's finish this up. The lamb stew is amazing. I mean, I wish you could smell it. It just smells so good. And the rosemary mashed potatoes are amazing. So anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, how about subscribe? Uh, Barry would love that. I would love that. It would be awesome. And um, as always, thanks for being our guest.